Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Forza Street, which is available now for your Android and your iOS device and obviously as well for Windows since Microsoft, you know. And yeah, today I wanted to give you uh, tips and tricks, a first beginner starter guide and so on so. Uh, because I'm playing the game, actually I was checking, I'm playing the game since October. Since October, seriously, almost a whole year already, I mean it's like nine months. And yeah, I want to give you a little bit tips and tricks because I did over, I think over 10, 15 videos on this game already. However, now everybody can get it and it's more exciting, obviously. So a little garage tour here. And you can see I got, I got so far two epics, which is the Chevrolet Corvette Z06 and the Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat. And then I got a couple of rare ones. Um, there's a big difference here. Epic means you have this golden frame, which you can see there. This here, a golden frame, and here with a silver frame, that means it's a rare one. Just those cars are usually starting way higher than the others. So if you would get an epic or a rare one, they immediately have a higher power index, performance index, which is this little PI here. So that's just a little bit about that. Then we got four different car classes. And within those car classes, we got different uh, limitations as well. So we got here as just one car class. It is modern, sports modern. No, sports modern, um, which is another distinction. So we got sports. Then we got muscle. Here you go. Then we got super. And last but not least, it is street. And you see, all of those are saying modern. That just means it's another limitation. So it's, um, yeah, you saw sports, muscle, super, and street. Those are the four card classes. Within those card classes, then again, you did different limitations. So you got modern, which you see here. Here you see that's a classic one. That is a sports classic. Then we got one more, which is retro. Now let's see, do we have a retro? We should have a retro, right? There we have here, for example, the Porsche 911 GT2 is a retro and this are the limitations within those classes. So when you start Forza, you will see you get a lot of things for free. Uh, if you go here into the section where you can like buy different cards and stuff like this, you will see there are lots of offers. So we got those time limited offer, the daily special offer. Don't go for them. Don't go for them. Um, we got the spotlight offer. Uh, those spotlight cards you can win in spotlight events. As simple as that, you go into race. You see here is a spotlight event. You click on it. You say event number one and you can join. There you win spotlight chips. Those spotlight chips then again you can use for those spotlight cards. However, it doesn't mean that once you have 2000 chips that you immediately get that spotlight car. It is similar to CSR2. It says here, guaranteed 1985 Ford R200 Evolution within two scans. So, if you do two, uh, if you, 10 scans, sorry. Uh, if you do 10 scans, then you will get the R200. You could get it earlier, but you could get it just with the very last 10th scan. And that's 10 scans, which means you actually would need to collect 20,000 points. That's a lot, that's a lot, trust me. Um, then here on the right you got like different cards, uh, three star cards, you got a rare card, you got an epic card. You will collect those on the go while you play events and so don't worry so much about this. Once you can collect it, because you cannot buy those, you will just collect those. Step by step you will collect them, open them, have fun. Then you got the free car here all the way to the right. Um, yeah. Just come back all the time. You you see currently the counter is telling me two hours, two minutes. I need to come back and then I can get a free car. However, it's only going to be a one star or two star car. Um, don't expect anything higher there. Here, premium card. We got premium cards. And this is actually the way premium cards are. Yeah, you have a possibility to get two stars or three star cars. You have the possibility of getting epic cards. You have the possibility of getting rare cards. Absolutely. Uh, or you could get a standard three star card. That means uh, it's not a rare one, it's not an epic, it's just already three stars. So the amount of stars is not immediately telling you what kind of rarity you have on this one. Um, this is actually my recommendation is, is here, if you want to spend gold, you should spend it on premium cards. Five cards cost 225, 10 cards cost 450. 
Um, how do you get gold? Um, by playing, obviously, events and another... Oh, and here, for example, free currency is being about how to get gold. Let's see. No luck with this one, only credits. However, now and then you will get some gold as well. And another thing is, if you go into um, here on top, you click again. And you see here you got daily login, challenges and messages. Yeah, I already got this one. That was the um, free 4GT. I hope you get it yourself. Then you got the daily reward. Really easy. You just log in and you can get yeah all kinds of cards. You see here on day number 15, we actually get a three stars card and further. So very cool. However, here challenges is what you actually should check out every day. This should be your your to go place. Definitely your go to place. Um, here you see, what do we need to do? Apply 10 tuning kits, win 5 races in an upgrade event, win 3 races in any sports car, win 3 races in a row. Okay, let's try to actually do this right now. We, How are we doing this? Well, we will figure, we will choose an upgrade event. We'll try to use a sports car and we'll try to win 3 times in a row. Upgrade events, you see here, we got 4 different events. Story mode, which I finished. The first episode, I will soon start episode 2, if you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe. Spotlight, I already mentioned that one. And you see the new Spotlight car is the 2016 Lamborghini Centenario. And the upgrade event, currently we got a super upgrade event and we got a street upgrade event. So, as you see, what was again, let's go back quickly. We need to have a sports car. Ooh, and there's an upgrade event for street and for super which is a bit difficult because sport would be this one sports upgrade event is starting on thursday um however that's what we can only do right now the wins in an upgrade event so this will be the first challenge as you can see this is only green my friends so unfortunately the green ones are not my strong ones but we will try our best. Here we go. We need a classic. Do we have a classic available? Those are all modern. Oh man, we don't really have anything. However, let's go. Let's start this event. We need to do five races in an upgrade event, so that shouldn't be too difficult. Let's do outer race on this baby. So this should always be, you should always do this every day. Make sure you get the challenges. So wait. 436, you can beat this guy. We actually need those special upgrade parts. Uh, which one is the easiest? Well, the one here on top. 2,000 chips. 445. We beat this guy. We actually... Oh, well, we can still auto-race him. Woo, lucky. There, we got street exhaust part and stage 1 street tuning kit. And you see, we got 200 upgrade chips, 300 challenge chips. All different things. And you will see, he will tell us now. If we actually go here on challenges, win three races in a row, we did the very first one. Those premium chips again, you can then use them here. Premium chips, you see, we're collecting those and they're slowly getting more and more. 625 we have at the moment. However, let's see what is next. Okay, and you get a premium card if you do all four. That's every day. It used to be different when I played the game six months ago, you actually got gold. That was... A little bit cooler I would say and now you got premium cards which is nice but you got a hundred gold coins so after a while you could just buy your premium cards that was really cool however we got here the possibility we have an exhaust part but we need another exhaust part we need a generic one let's go and get those generic exhaust parts which is not too difficult because here there's a usual upgrade event and there we can use our sports cars uh, you see you go all the way you look and let's actually do and make some money now
And you should definitely, once you, like I'm playing this one right now, I will finish this, this will be no issue for me at all. However, once you finish an event, you should not feel like, okay, that's it, I'm good, I'm fine. No, you should repeat the event and that means you, you should try to go all the tracks which are possible for you. So whenever you have a car available for a track and it's kind of like competitive enough for that, then you should definitely try your way to beat it. Here he's telling us, okay, we should go, we got 40 points there on top. We, we cannot finish it because we don't have a classic. That's why this is a, is a red line there. So at the end, we cannot finish it. We don't have a classic right with us. So we go the one down. And why I'm telling you, you should finish an event. Wait, by the way, let's actually use someone else here. Because you will get a domination reward. That means if you finish all tracks of an event, you get a domination reward, which includes gold and upgrade ships and so on. So, so you want to make sure that you get everything in. Try to squeeze out every little track there so you can get as much cash as possible. So we finish this and now you will see the victory reward will be exhaust part, 400 credits, challenge cards, challenge chips and so on. Step by step you will be able to upgrade your rides. Here you see um, which ride I can upgrade, he's telling us right now, for example, if I click here, you will see there is a little, there's a little cursor, an icon which goes, shows up, that means it's not available yet, because we need, we need exhaust parts, generic ones, and we need specific ones, muscle exhaust parts, so at the moment you cannot upgrade this, but if you go further, you will see that here, for example, this one we could upgrade or this one we could upgrade. So those are available and then step by step you will improve your deck. Here you see challenges. He will actually tell us now we did five races in an upgrade event. So all we need to do now is win three races in any sports car or apply 10 tuning kits. 10 tuning kits, uh, tuning kits you get pretty simple here through the challenge. You get those challenge cards and then you can get tuning kits. Different sizes, different. Stage one tuning kit is obviously like one of the lowest ones. And then it goes, or I don't know how high it goes, but I saw stage three, I saw stage two as well. And then there are different tuning kits as well, class specific tuning kits. So you will have a special super, street, sports, a muscle tuning kit which is giving another boost. You can still use them on all cars, but it makes sense to use a to use a muscle tuning kit on a muscle ride. So ladies and gentlemen, this was just my little guide, my little beginner guide on how to improve your deck. You should definitely focus on finishing and dominating all the events. So as you look here, if I go into the story mode, you will see everything is 100. And you should do this because, let's have a quick look here. If you click on this, Event 6, victory reward is 540 credits, 10 gold, 50 premium ships. But the domination reward, which means like once you finish everything, is 2200 credits, 20 gold and 200 premium ships. And that's why, you see, it always goes a little bit different. But yeah, you want to get everything out of this. Very, very important to finish all the events. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to keep seeing for the street on my channel, don't forget to subscribe and see you again. Bye bye.